right, so this is going to be a short little stream about uh, about a little country, Monaco. So we go to explorer mode. We zoom in, and not surprisingly, it's too small to be on the map. Okay, so we uh, look down, and I think Monaco may be the smallest country and land area that is in explorer mode. And there it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, in fact, the second smallest sovereign state in the world. Um, I think even Macau is larger. Um, you know, so uh, only Vatican City is smaller, and Vatican City has no uh, official coverage. Although, of course, you can see it from Italy in official coverage. Okay, so uh, you know, very small map, so difficult scoring. Um, Okay, so we have time for around three minutes, you know, our normal uh, daily challenge settings. And I'll probably just play one game to uh, illustrate this. Okay, so this is <laughs> an excellent view. You can see that we, right now we are in the marina. Okay, so um, I believe there's only one of those. So to find Monaco, first of all, it's between Nice and Italy, you know, like down in this corner of the hexagon. Um, you know, and then... Um, I mean, look, and we see there is one big, uh, okay, it could be this one, actually, but, yeah, I think it's this one, the, uh, shape, let's see. Yeah, in fact, this is, uh, <laughs> okay, interesting coverage, there's the guy's head, but, you know, what, he's on, what, a, a paddle boat? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, Monaco has these big, uh, uh, you know, these uh, big mountains in the back with uh, with uh, this uh, white rock, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, very steep coastline, you know, that it's, uh, you know, in the Alps separating, uh, uh, you know, France from Italy. And uh, the white rock there, you'll notice, you know, like, the Alps come from uplift uh, mostly and not from volcanism, you know, like, so it has, um, you know, surface rocks like that. Um, let's see, so how do we confirm that we're... Yeah, hmm. I mean, could it be this one or not? Oh, there would be the, the palaces uh, on this one, yeah, so that's a... Yeah, this doesn't look right for that. Uh, you know, this we look toward the northwest, we see uh, like the city center and not and not this. Okay, so um, I think we're over here. Okay, and yeah, let's see, southwest, west, north. Okay, so we're in this corner. It looks like. Yep. And 34 meters gives us 4,963 points, uh, you know, so we got dinged 37 points for that. You know, these small maps, you know, have uh, quite brutal scoring sometimes. Okay. Uh, and, oh, there's that same guy again. Okay, so I guess this is meta then, you know, like that, you know, uh, Monaco has coverage from a boat that you can't really see. I mean, it's it's got to have a motor, right? You know, to produce a wake like that, and uh, you know, a guy with uh, is. I'm thinking maybe this guy is on a jet ski. You know, like looking at it. Um, okay, so here we can see there's you know actually a cliff, a big building. Um, okay, it looks like the city ends over there. That's probably France then, because Monaco is pretty much all built up. I think. Um, Okay, there's a wall there. Let's see, are we... Wait, which which end is this? This is... Okay, so that's the northeast. Okay, so I'm thinking... Then, could this be... This here, this... Uh, uh, maybe not, that's maybe more of a modern building. Um, and then a bit down there's 
No, maybe this is it. I, yeah, I think I like this location. Well, see, there's there's the thing. Also, there's the key here. You know, Caitlin Ye Trois. Uh, right. Uh, we don't really see a key like that unless you know we're viewing it exactly at John. Maybe that's it over there. Um, yeah, you can see here, you know, like a um, coastline is stabilized with giant concrete tracks here, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, except there's there's a beach here, right? Plage du La Roto. Um, yeah, this is quite definitely not a beach, but where else could it be, right? I mean, it could it be that we're down here someplace? Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is yeah, this one is hard. I'm gonna go with that because I'm running out of time. Okay, yeah, so it was yeah, so it was down here. Um, so what? Yeah, okay. So what happens is that this is the cliff face right here. Uh, this uh, thing was the uh, Musée Oceanographique de Monaco, is the um, the uh, grand building that we saw, and then you know, and then looking this way. There, okay, so there we were looking at a dready end on then, um, you know, this, uh, this thing, um, and, uh, there's, uh, yeah, so then there were these buildings, and then, yeah, so there, the, yeah, so the, the, this was, um, you know, that hill that we saw coming, uh, coming down behind the buildings, you know, right, uh, close to the sea, which is, it turns out, in France, um, you know, and then, um, yeah, I assume this is, uh, Cap d'Aille is the, uh, the, uh, municipality in France. You can see it has the, this kind of lettering, which indicates, um, you know, that it's actually a town. And then these are actually just, uh, neighborhoods inside the town of, of Cap d'Aille. Okay, um, so... Yeah, so, uh, Monaco then has, you know, this, this kind of rock everywhere then... Right, it's some kind of uplifted, you know, sedimentary or metamorphic rock, light in color. Um, okay, we have, uh, you know, that it has the, you know, it, it basically things look like France, you know, it's, uh, you know, you see signs of, you know, uh, it's sort of glitzy and wealthy, you know, like these. Yep. Okay, is that the... Yeah, you can see that, you know, it's so small. Okay, so there's the sea. So this looks like the entrance to the... Um... Could, we, could we just be on here? Yeah, street uh, signs would help. Um... Yeah, and so if you see this kind of terrain, you know, very hilly like this, um, you know, you're likely to be, you know, uh, in the area of France around Nice. Okay, there's the end of the marina. Um, so, yeah, this does look like it's, maybe it's behind the big building here. Um Oh, there, yeah, there was a tunnel, right? You know, Tunnel Dig, and I think we even saw that on the um, sign, right? It was down here. This is uh, De La Dig, it says on the sign. Yeah, De La Dig, that's the parking lot, you know, 32 spaces. Um yeah, so we're somewhere around here. Um, on Avenue de la Quarantaine, 
Uh, you know, notice this means Quarantine Avenue, um, you know, because, or maybe not, you know, it could, it could mean of, uh, you know, something else having to do with the French word 40, but I think, given its location, that this was, a, this may have been that port facilities traditionally, you know, like they have places to hold uh, people, uh, you know, that come in with ships that may have a, epidemic diseases, um, you know, and uh, so uh, that, uh, you know, that, that, that uh, so that's probably where the name of this, uh, of this comes fr uh, from. And you'll see there's tunnels all over the place here, you know, like very steep terrain, lots of traffic to uh, try to get places. Um, you know, in fact, there's over here, you can see that the, uh, the palace is heavily, uh, heavily tunneled. You know, that's interesting. Okay. So next to last round of the stream, you know, because there's not much, to, not much to see in a micro state like this. Okay. That looks like it may be the palace, right? Um, yep. You'll notice, you know, like basically all buildings in Monaco are uh, impressive, you know, that, um, okay, Musée Oceanographique Cathedral, we saw, oh, we saw the Oceanographic Museum, it was over, no, it was, uh, down here, right, um, <laughs> yep, okay, so we have Yeah, could it be here? Uh, we have Rue de Bonpart. Um Okay, there's a street sign there, but maybe we can't actually get to it um, let's see, we have La Pampa Stack Bar, uh, toilets that way, um, oh, they're, uh, toilets, right, for some reason labeled in German, um, Oh, this is Place du Palais, so yeah, that there's the there's the square. Uh, looks like there may be a problem with the placement of the street and buildings here. Um, oh, there's La Pampa, is the, uh, that was the restaurant uh, down here, right? Um, yeah, Bar La Pampa Glacier. Uh, um... Yeah, so setting back to the initial thing, right, so we were just off the plaza, wait, there is a sign there, uh, Colonel Belondo de Castro, okay, um, yeah, okay, so that's it there, um, yeah, uh, oh, it goes through the building, okay, that's the reason why it looks, uh, like there's a problem with the location. Um, so yeah, that's it. Ah, 5,000. Oh, hi. Uh, yep. Uh, so this is a very short stream because, uh, you know, this is the smallest, uh, country on GeoGuessr with official coverage. Uh, so I just have one round left, I believe. Yep. Uh, wait, is this the same location that... We, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> five, five, five rounds and we actually get a repeat. Yeah, that, that... Yeah, that that's kind of... Yeah, that... Yeah, so once again... Yeah, that it was here. All right. <laughs> yeah, see? And I... Even, even in a repeat, you know, I can't get it. You know, it's 43 meters off. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I, yeah, I don't think I need another, uh, uh another, another, uh, game here, you know, like, uh, you know, certainly, um, you know, if I did one, you know, I'd have a chance of seeing some of the other sites, you know, like, uh, the, uh, the casino, for instance, um, you know, but, uh, there's, there's really, uh, 
you know, not that much to see, and, uh, you know, that uh, it's, it's, you know, what can we say? It's well marked. Uh, the way you tell it, you're in Monaco mostly is from the existence of the marina, the very steep hills, and white rock, and, um, and then, um, and then, uh, you know, and of course, you know, that you're likely to see uh, the, uh, the big marina, you know, is uh, a big um, landmark, um, you know, and the street signs, you know, are, uh, you know, you know, show us so many different things that we're uh, likely to just be able to look at the directional signs on the street and find um, something, uh, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, you, it would be a fairly easy country except for the fact that, this, that the scoring is so brutal, you know, that, uh, you know, from the small size of the map. Um, so, um, I guess that's, uh, you know, we're, we're done with this country then, and, uh, so these are, uh, done in alphabetical order, and so, um, the next country in alphabetical order by domain name, this is MC, MC is Moldova, no coverage, and then ME is Montenegro, which, um, you know, in some ways, I guess you could call it a small country, it has less than a million people, but it has plenty of territory, so... I think that one's going to be full length, you know, uh, three uh, three uh, uh, daily challenge sort of games. All right. So uh, then, uh, so I'll see you later and have a nice day.